Louisa Monroe goes to Marshall. And you can't convince me that this isn't an important game. Marshall right now and Lou Monroe, right, are fighting for a chance to win their divisions to make the Sun Belt the conference championship. Now, does this game have college football playoff implications? Probably not. Okay. But Marshall's a 10.5 point favorite here at home. And Marshall is going to be playing in a couple weeks here, Old Dominion, right, which is a big old game because Old Dominion right now sits atop uh, of that Sun Belt East division. James Madison is also up there as well. Coastal Carolina is in it. Everyone is in it, it seems like, in that Sun Belt East. And look, this Lou Monroe team has found ways to win football games that they are not favored in. They have not been favored, I don't think, in a single game all season, except against Southern Miss. Who just had to fire their coach after that game? <laughs> yeah. So Brian Vincent has the boys buzzing over there at Lou Monroe. Uh, they've made a quarterback switch over there. Things are looking up for the Warhawks. Despite being 10.5 point underdogs, I think they've already out exceeded expectations. Even if they lose out right here, I still feel really good about where that program's at with Brian Vincent, despite the limited resources, probably the worst set of resources. I believe Brian Vincent's getting paid less than almost every single coach in college football. On the Marshall side, I think this is a game that they got to win, right? Like you're in a spot where your offense is playing surprisingly well for you this year. You're in it to win that division. It feels like it's up for grabs. You can't drop as a 10-point underdog or as a 10-point favorite to Lou Monroe. I'll take Marshall to win Marshall to cover here. Uh, sorry, Warhawks. We loved you this season, even though I took your under on your win total, which is pretty embarrassing because you literally doubled your win total. So I look like an absolute fool. But sorry, I'm going to fade you once again. Here we go, Marshall. Yeah, I, I'm going to be with you here. F first of all, I do want to credit both these teams. Like you said, these two running backs, right? AJ Turner for Marshall and then um, – I'm at Hardy for UL Monroe. These are two of the best running backs in G5, two of the best in G5. Obviously, Janty, I get that, whatever. But these guys are playing really, really well. Hardy runs the ball so, so hard. I think he's only a freshman. A.J. Turner is a big play waiting to happen. He's been so fun. That one run against um, Georgia State was incredible where he ran the other way, and then it was supposed to get bottled up, <clears throat> flipped the entire field, and then it was a race to the end zone there. It was awesome. I really like the way Braylon Braxton fits this offense for Marshall. I think they go in here and they get a they get a win. South Alabama ran the ball really well against UL Monroe last week. Kentrell Bullock and Fluff Bothwell, two guys that really got after it. I will say though, that game I know it got out of hand in that second half, but UL Monroe was was bad and they were winning at halftime there on the road in Mobile. Oh, that was their first conference loss too, man. That win would have been massive. But big win for Major Applewhite and, and the Jaguars down there. I'm with you here, though. Marshall lost a brutal game where they just blew it, blew it against Georgia Southern, gave up 21 points in that fourth quarter. They need this one to stay alive. They still have Old Dominion later on in their schedule, I'm pretty sure. Or did they have the tiebreaker? They, they have Old Dominion later on in their schedule. And so Georgia, Southern, Georgia Southern, I think, needs to lose one more game for Marshall. Because they have, there could be some weird tiebreakers happening here in the Sun Belt. But which, as long as you keep winning and you're Marshall, you got a shot to win that division. Which, by the way, Georgia Southern is still, they're, they're like five and a half point dogs on the week against in Mobile against South Alabama. Yes. And I know their schedule gets tough because, like you said, they've got Old Dominion still, they've got Coastal Carolina, JMU on the road to finish the season. So, like, it's going to get, you know, tough. So this is a game you have to win to give yourself some margin for error in the Sun Belt East, which. Both both divisions are going to be awesome unless Louisiana runs away with the with the West. But yeah, I, like I said, this game I know it's not like crazy college football playoff net implications, but we got a couple one loss teams in the Sun Belt here playing each other. UL Monroe has been a surprise team, like you said. Marshall putting together good football right now. I was really impressed with them against Atlanta in or in in Marshall against Georgia State. You're at home. Got to get a win here. Charles Huff's still the coach there, right? 